Hello, welcome to Thirsty Thursday Toys. I know it's not Thursday, but I've been wanting to do more just quick reviews. You can still expect a brand new video on Thursday. Every Thursday we'll have a drink recipe that matches the figures. It's something you can copy and something at least I'm proud of. Today we're looking at these two brand new Playmates figures. Uh, I'm gonna make a drink real quick. Did not think through the drink beforehand, but there's gonna be a drink. Okay, let's see. Based on these two, what is this? Grayish, tealish? Okay, let's see if we can make gray teal and brown and stick them to- Oh, got it. Okay, hold on. Okay. Paris glass, because... Yeah, ha uh -huh, uh, yeah. Let's get some lemonade. Just gonna eyeball this. Get some blue food coloring. Oh, that's way too blue. You know what? That's fine. And for the brown of Rodan, we're gonna use some sweet tea. Making an Arnold Palmer here. Then we're just gonna top that off with some vodka. Down the hatch. Pretty good, actually. I'm gonna start with Rodan, because this one looks a little more simple. These all come in the same style of packaging as the Burning Godzilla and the Jet Jaguar. And that's who we have on the back here. There's the barcode if you want it. When I pick these up, these are the four figures that were on the shelf. I'm assuming it's one of each per case. So I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of Jet Jaguars and Burning Godzillas on the shelves in the next few months. Very thin cardboard. I don't keep the packaging, so that doesn't bother me. I do really appreciate that they have the years on here. That's that's awesome that they're differentiating those. All right, we gotta cut this. I should have cut this before I started drinking. It's just taped up on the bottom there. Here's Rodan on the plastic. Pops right out of there. And on the back here, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this. The true test, can it stand? <sighs> yes, it can. Shake the table, and it's good. Where's my thing thingy? Rodan can stand quite well. Yes! See, that's why I didn't buy the Jet Jaguar, but this, this works. Now, I know the promotional images showed, like, hinges on the wings here, but these are A, not hinged, and B, like, glued in, so there is no wing articulation at all. I mean, it's solid. It's solid vinyl. They are pretty thin, which is cool. Got gold paint on the claws. Gold on the beak and the horns, gold on the toes, gold on the belly. We've got that teal on the back with a gold stripe down the middle, red tongue. My lighting sucks right now, but there are black pupils in there. The legs here are a separate piece of vinyl, but that is also glued in. The only point of articulation is the head here, and this can turn all the way around. And this is a nice, soft vinyl. Body seems to be a little harder compared to... The legs are also softer, so I don't know how well this is going to stay up over time. But the feet look big enough to, to hold it. There's some info on the bottom of the feet. Let's get Rodan with uh, Godzilla 1968. All right. Gorosaurus, same deal with the packaging. Same on the back. There's the barcode. This guy does come in two pieces. You need to attach the tail. He comes much more securely strapped in than the Rodan. And again, we have the year. This is the 1968 one, so it's the Destroy All Monsters version, as opposed to what, King Kong Escapes. I'm just going to cut these from below here, if I can. Couldn't get my knife in there, so I just ended up tearing these out of the cardboard. And they actually come out much easier that way, without harming the figure. Tail is attached in two places here. If we can just get this out here, then this should be able to slide out. Ta-da! So this is the same kind of harder vinyl as Rodan's body. Same with this part of the tail. So let's see if we can pop this in without the need for blow dry or anything. Yep, there it goes. Nice. Full 360. So we have this slate vinyl, this cream spray down the neck all the way down the tail, that same cream color on the claws, toes, white teeth, Red inside the mouth, the black and white eyes. Detail on this guy is awesome. Seems to be a little glue from something. Oh, yeah, I see. There is a seam right here where these two pieces are glued together. Otherwise, everything else is articulated. The head, both arms, both legs. There's some info on the bottom of the feet. Now, in trying to do the kangaroo kick, you can bend his feet down but they start to close together. Godzilla 1968. 
Good luck on your hunt. See you with an actual drink recipe on Thursday. And as always, please drink responsibly.